In a new op-ed for Breitbart, John Nolte pokes holes into the left's insistence that climate change is man-made using simple math. This report comes on the heels of a dire prediction from freshman rep, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez that the world could end in 12 years. USA Today reported that Ock made headlines and sparked conservative criticism when she said Monday that she and other young Americans fear the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, made the remark during an interview with writer ta Coates at the MLK Now event in New York City celebrating the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. Ocasio-Cortez called the fight to mitigate the effects of climate change her generation's World War II. Millennials and Gen Z and all these folks that come after us are looking up, and we're like, the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change, and your biggest issue is how are we going to pay for it? She said, countless experts have questioned the validity of climate cultists. Watch the video, from Breitbart by John Nolte The far-left think progress reports that scientists have finally proven that the theory of man-made global warming is a total hoax. Of course, no one will admit it. But that is exactly what has happened. A new scientific study shows has revealed the following, current CO2 levels of 410 parts per million, ppm, were last seen on Earth 3 million years ago, according to the most detailed reconstruction of the Earth's climate by researchers at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research, PIK, and published in Science Advances. Yes, you read that correctly, 3 million, million. Years ago CO2 levels on Earth were the same as they are today, but there is one major difference between 3 million years ago and today. 3 million years ago, we humans were not driving cars or eating the meat that requires cow farts, we weren't barbecuing or refusing to recycle or building factories, there was no industrial age, no plastic, no air conditioning, no electricity, no lumber mills, no consumerism, no aerosols. In fact, Three million years ago, there were probably no human beings on Earth, at least not human in the way we use the term today. And yet, CO2 levels were the same then as they are now. Hmm? But I thought humans warmed the planet? That's the hustle we've been sold for three decades now, you know, that we are the problem. We have also been told the problem is definitely not a billions-year-old planet running through cycles where the temperature might fluctuate a bit. Oh. No, that could never be it, so stop saying that could be, you denier. Well, what about the ice age that occurred thousands and thousands of years before the industrial age? Shut up, denier. And yet, according to the study, scientists also discovered that during this period of global warming there were no ice sheets covering either Greenland or West Antarctica, and much of the East Antarctic ice sheet was gone. How is this possible 2,999,971 years before Arnold Schwarzenegger bought his Hummer? It gets worse, temperatures were up to 7 degrees Fahrenheit warmer globally, at least double that at the poles, and sea levels were some 20 meters, 65 feet, higher. How is that possible 2,999,945 years before Americans moved to the suburbs and lit up the charcoal grills? Naturally. Even in the face of a study that totally debunks the whole concept of man-made global warming, think progress is sticking with that hoax but is also forced to concede the following, the good news is that the earth does not warm instantly, and mile thick ice sheets melt even more slowly. So the temperature rise will take several decades, and tens of feet of sea level rise will take hundreds and hundreds of years. But 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 Alexandria Ocasio crazy told me we only have 12 years. And then think progress drops this anti-science stink bomb. That means the choices we make now can affect the rate of rise and determine whether we blow past 65 feet of sea level rise to beyond 200 feet. Because, because, because orange man bad, even worse, the climate policy agenda President Donald Trump is pushing, actions that include rolling back U.S. Laws that reduce carbon pollution and abandoning the Paris Climate Agreement, would lock us into such high CO2 levels, sea levels would rise a foot per decade in just a few decades. No, actually, what this study proves is that there is nothing we can do to stop the Earth's naturally occurring climate cycles. Even the worst of the worst, even the most maniacal pushing the global warming hoax admit that, at best, we can only 
cool the planet a couple of degrees, which will do next to nothing if the planet is determined to again warm itself by 7 degrees, as we now know it to 2,999,998 years before the bad orange man approved a couple of pipelines.